So one of the biggest things that we've seen, well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Exynos chipsets and compare them against the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets that are available in basically a lot of major Samsung phones that they make. There's a lot of phones that Samsung makes that still have the Exynos chipsets inside, and there's a lot of them that have the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets. So what are the advantages and disadvantages between both? Now, as a company like Samsung, one of the biggest advantages for them to use the Exynos chipsets is because they basically built them. They made those chipsets, so they want to make sure, and it, it's probably you know easier and cost more cost-effective for them to continue to make those types of chipsets and try to find a way for them to make that chipset as great as possible. But because Qualcomm basically just specializes in making chipsets, that company just absolutely destroys it when it comes down to their, you know, Snapdragon chipsets. They're so good. I love them so much. And inside of a phone, if you're going to give me a phone that has the Exynos chipset or Snapdragon chipset and I get to choose, I'm probably going to take that, you know, Snapdragon chipset almost every single time. That is definitely a far better chipset just because it's just better prepared. I think it's just a better, you know, built chipset than the Exynos one. Now, one of the biggest things that happened back in the day was that when Samsung made that Exynos chipset, they basically kind of, I don't know what they did, but I think they just speed ran making a chipset. And I think there were a couple variants where the Exynos chipsets were good. But then after that, for the most part, those chipsets ended up not performing as well as the Qualcomm Snapdragon, you know, counterpart. So when you look at something like the, you know, if you take a look at a Galaxy S24, one that has Exynos, one that has, you know, Snapdragon, you might notice that the Snapdragon chipset is going to give you an overall better performing experience. But on top of that, you're going to be noticing not only is the performance probably going to be better, but things like the battery life, things like the overheating of those Exynos chipsets is very, very common. You know, it was a very common situation and that could have actually ended up happening with a lot of those phones. But depending on which area you're in, you're probably not going to even have a choice. You may not have a choice between Exynos or, you know, or Snapdragon. It's really what's just available in your country. But I will tell you, you know, kind of switching over to, you know, from an Exynos to a Snapdragon might make more sense for some people out there. Now, the thing that we've noticed is that, you know, for the most part, for their main flagships, it's looking like they're kind of keeping their Snapdragon chipsets. It's looking like those ones are probably going to be the better ones. But the thing that's very interesting is that for their A series, they are still going through and they're still making these A series phones basically with a, you know, Exynos chipsets inside of it. So I think that's totally okay if it's their own, if it's on like their cheaper phone, if it's not on their main one, I think that's totally understandable. And I'm like completely okay with that. But that is just one other thing to keep in mind here. But I think the stereotype of an Exynos chipset is worse than the chipset itself. I feel like a lot of people who've picked up the Exynos phones, you know, throughout their life may have had one or two variants that weren't that good, or maybe wasn't the best of all time or whatever. But then over time, it's gotten better and better. But I think people are just, you know, once they kind of experienced it, they didn't want to deal with it again. So that could have very well happened. But I think Exynos chipsets aren't as bad as they used to be. They've definitely gotten better and better. But I just think at this point, you know, from my personal experience, having had phones that had Exynos chipsets and having had phones that had Snapdragon chipsets, usually if we're kind of compare like two of the ones that came out the same time, I'm going to say the Snapdragon one is almost always better from a performance side and from just the power efficiency side rather than the Exynos side. But if you're not really caring too much about it, or if you don't really have a choice, I think the Exynos thing is still perfectly fine as well. I think that chipset is still very, very good. But I'll probably tell you the, you know, the Snapdragon one is the one I'd probably recommend buying here. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up here for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button now means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.